Welcome to Lovely News Network, and we have a really disturbing story, and it's coming from Mississippi. We don't have a name yet for Mississippi, but this story is really sad. It's about a young mother. She's 25 years old. She has a four-year-old, a two-year-old, and a one-year-old. And so basically, she ran into the store. She ran into Shop and Save to go grab a few items, and when she came out of the store, her SUV that had all three of her children in it had backed up into a creek. And so the SUV was in the creek. She ran in to try and get help from security and from police. By the time they were able to get to her SUV, her other two children, which was the four-year-old and the one-year-old son, they both drowned in the vehicle. So this story is just really disturbing. I want you guys to go ahead and watch this news clip, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Well, a Delta community is now mourning the loss of two children after an SUV rolled into a Leland Creek over the weekend. The children were locked inside, unfortunately, when it happened. But thank you for joining us. I'm Terrence Friday. Well, and I'm Margaret Ann Carter. Such a tragic story. One of the children was saved thanks to a group of Good Samaritans there. Their mother, 25-year-old Janae and Monique Payne, went inside the stop and shop on Main Street when she noticed her Nissan Pathfinder was gone. Her vehicle had rolled across the street into a nearby Deer Creek. Creek there. Although there were many rescue efforts, her two sons, four-year-old Steve Smith and one-year-old Rashid Johnson Jr. drowned. Good Samaritans were able to pull a two-year-old girl from the water before it sunk. She did survive. We waited on the other side of the creek for it to get over on the other side and um, we, my, my friend jumped on the, off the side of the creek onto the car. I jumped on the car trying to like break the windshield and it wouldn't break. I was trying to see if the door was unlocked. They were all locked. So I jumped on the sunroof. I was stomping it, but it wouldn't break. Police tell us the mother could face charges. We'll keep you updated with that developing story. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us. The mother of two small children who drowned in an SUV that rolled into a creek over the weekend will now face charges. Gina Payne was booked and is charged with two counts of manslaughter, culpable negligence, and one count of child neglect. Over the weekend, she went inside the stop and shop on Main Street, and when she walked out, she saw that her Nissan Pathfinder was gone. The vehicle had rolled across the street into nearby Deer Creek. Although there were many rescue efforts, her two sons, four-year-old Steve Smith and one-year-old Rashid Johnson Jr., drowned. A two-year-old was also in the vehicle. She survived. WJTV 12's Gerald Harris was in Leland today and will have the latest developments for us this evening. All right, so you guys just saw that news clip. So like I said, this entire story is just really disturbing. And the fact that this mother is very young, she's 25 years old, and she has three children under the age of four. So these kids were literally back to back, okay? I don't know how many stories we have to do on this channel about parents not leaving their kids in vehicles. No matter if you're just trying to run in for a quick second or an hour, you never know how long something can take. You might be thinking, I'm about to just run in there for 20 seconds and come right back out. But in those 20 seconds, somebody could kidnap your kid. Anything could happen to your children. Now, right now, the authorities are charging her with several charges. And on top of that, they're trying to figure out did she take the keys with her? Because we know she locked the kids in the car, but did she turn the car off? Because as she turned it off, this tragedy may not have happened. Now, granted, the four-year-old might have been playing around, might have bumped the, you know, the brake button and had the car go back in reverse. But if the car was on, it was more likelihood that this happened. Whereas if she would have taken the keys with her, it would have been very hard for the kids to bump the handle or to, you know, mess with the brakes or anything like that. So I'm assuming that she left her car running and that, you know, maybe one of the kids ended up playing with the gear shift and that's how the car ended up backing into the creek. Either way, this was a tragedy. We have two children who lost their lives and this could have been definitely prevented. Thank goodness all three children did not die, but this mother is now looking at some very, very serious charges. You know what I'm saying? My thing is, if you guys cannot handle taking all your kids into a store, trust me, it's a lot. You know what I'm saying? Dragging not one, but three kids into a store, getting them into a basket, especially when they're that close in age. It's very hard to handle at times, but that's why if you have to go grocery shopping and your kids are still young, bring an extra person with you. And if they can't come with you, then you have no choice but to take all three of your kids with you inside the store because you never know what can happen once you leave that vehicle. You know, we've had so many stories of parents leaving their kids in cars and it was too hot, the kids ended up dying, or it was too cold, the kids froze to death. Now, I don't know how long she was in this store shopping, 
But even if it was just a matter of minutes, the car still ended up rolling into a creek and now two of her three children are dead. So this entire situation is just really sad, but I hope that once again, people take this as a lesson learned to stop leaving their children in vehicles. Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire sad situation that's coming from Mississippi. How do you guys feel about this? Do you guys feel like they're right to charge the mother with neglect and everything else because she had no business leaving those three babies in the car? And then do you agree with me that, you know, under no circumstance should you leave young children unattended in vehicles because anything can happen? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces.